A chance to move on here tonight is in store. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Well, here we go. Game six tonight. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. The Trench have taken possession along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Centering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Syracuse has it in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Kuma, and there's the save. There's another consecutive save. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Slides the puck over to Gonsalves. Syracuse plays it along the wing. What a great read, breaking up the pass. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. The crunch have gained control of the puck along the wall. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And called for the offside, we'll get a face off. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Syracuse will go to work as they win the draw. And it's a quick pass to Murray. He's got a step. A great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he sends it across to Fortier. Cuts to the point. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Rochester's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Here they come on the rush. Feeds it across. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Quick pass to Dave. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. Sachoni's got the puck. Quick feed to Davies. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Here comes the sentence. Days hack, not a popular one in the eyes of the officials here. Opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. Dishes it to Richards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And that doesn't reach the net. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Richards will take the face off here as this man advantage is about to resume. Dumont's won it in their own end. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's get the official decision. Well, the official is right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four four action. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still no score in this one. Roberts won the draw, and they're on the attack. The Americans have it now. Rochester's in on the offensive attack now. Sends it across. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Robert. Syracuse goes to work on the power play with their man stepping out of the box. Makes the save. Sends it to the middle. Find your 
yourself on a highlight reel and it's not the one you want to be on, James. It's a real tough play that leads to a goal. Syracuse has the game's opening goal near the midway mark of period number one. Cheryl, does that still count as that quick start you were talking about? I don't qualify that as a quick start, James. You know, you got to find ways to generate more offense. Listen, they capitalized on what they got, but they have to continue to find their legs and increase the pace of this game if they want to win it. And he loses control of the puck. The Americans got to work on offense. to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Syracuse has been certainly subscribing to the lots of pucks on net theory because they lead it here in the first. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Jost. And now it's over to Murray. And a great heads-up defensive play here. Syracuse has been so good shutting the clock. Well, there's going to be... They've got a two-on-one! Takes a shot! Oh, tremendous save to shut down the rush there! Wow! There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. Rochester's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Fires away! Great save by on the felt! Sends the pass over. Oh, missed the net! What a chance there! Oh, James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Robert's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Rochester's won the faceoff. That save! Oh, he got all of that one. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Gains the zone through the middle. Shot along the wall. Made the stop on the play. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. And they managed to clear it. The Americans carried along the wall. Edmonds penalty has almost expired. Gets it on net, and he gets in front of the slap shot to make the save. Past the midway mark of the frame, we've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Off the face, off they take the puck. Dumont's moving the puck through his own zone. With possession along the wall. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Quick pass over to Proud. Denies him with the save. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Gonzalez. And a solid save there as we play on. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Flags lugging the puck. And he takes the pass. Fires it on net. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Syracuse looks to move the puck from their own end. Edmonds scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Murray's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Jost. Oh, what an opportunity, but it just goes a little higher than that. Well, when you're in the O-zone and you have possession, you're trying to create numbers. They do such a great job of getting to the net. And that opportunity ensues. Picked up along the wall by Alard. Rochester's got a hold of the puck now. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Takes it and looks ahead. Puts it on net, and he's got that one. And 
the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Getting into the later stages of this period, Syracuse has the 1-0 lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Dave. Slides the puck over. Great poke check on the reach. Picks up the puck in his own end. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Slick feed. Here's a short pass to Biro. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Rochester's got possession at center. Moves it to Biro. Puck picked up in the open ice. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Here's a shot! Turns it away! Moves it quickly over to Fortier. The Americans move the puck in the defensive zone. Grabs control to the point. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Bumped off the puck. Slides it on over to Fortier. And he slides it quickly to Robert. The Crunch have one last opportunity to break out before this period ends. And now he moves it quickly to Robert. Takes a shot. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. It's only one nothing. Rochester's put a lot of pucks on net, and yet they still find themselves trailing here in the second. Puck picked up by Plague. Stevens has it in the defensive end. Gonsalves plays it against the boards. Oh, and the stick falls on the play. Uh, not that tough one, James, when you're in a prime scoring area, and you have to get back to the bench as quick as possible. So you go from being there and then being at the bench. Worst. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Smart read on the play as both centers were tied up on the draw. The Americans played along the wing. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the club. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Quick pass to Robert. Syracuse is across the blue line. Fires it! Denies him! Oh, he stops him with the glove! Great reflexes there! Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. And off the draw, they win possession. Now a quick pass to Davies. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Tries to get it to Fortier. Quick feed to Element. Big time stop. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the 
the PK unit, they gotta get out there and they gotta do a job. The Americans send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. What the stop. The Crunch have the puck against the boards and manages to clear the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Quick shot! That's saved by Old Felt. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Let's get the call. Well, what a tumultuous turn of events here, James. They take the first penalty. They can't settle down, and now multiple calls on the play. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. As we're about to drop the puck, a chance for both teams to open things up with a little three-on-three. Three. I wish I played three-on-three three back in the day, James. So much fun with so much ice available. A reason why coaches put their fastest players out there. But man, you have to be aware of your shot selection. Because if it goes the other the shooter he gets a lucky break here all he's trying to do is get that puck off quickly under pressure and he does and it goes bar down and into the net nearing the midway mark of the period you can feel the energy in this crowd it's a tie game the Americans get a hold of the puck off the draw sends a pass over and that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Takes the feet at the back end. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. We see players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time, it winds up in the back of the net. Come down. 
Rochester's won it. On the attack along the boards. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And he keeps that one out. Hammers the shot. Denies it again. Not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Handles the pass at center. Here's a shot. Tucking that one home. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it, he buries it. Rochester's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. And he slides it quickly to Myers. Takes that pass back to the corner. Scores! And look at this. Here we go. They have answered back. Well, they've responded exactly the way the coach and team wanted. To be able to get back on the board, get momentum back in your favor. It's key guys that contribute and have an impact. Syracuse has served up a major counterpunch here in period number two. And it's all about trusting your preparation, James, and that's exactly where they are in the second. They're finding a way to have good habits, and they're rewarded by getting themselves within one. Reaches out and uses the stick. Feeds the puck across to Dumont. Takes the pass. And uses the length of the stick to knock that puck away. Rochester's got it across the line. Quick feed to Carroll. Moves the puck. Syracuse has it against the half wall. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Dumont's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Well past the midway mark of this period, Syracuse is still trailing by one as they step into the draw. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Tukarski's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced, and his save percentage is an indicator of it. Feeds the puck to Jost. Great heads up play with the stick by Murray. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. A field on front, and that's deflected off someone in front. Scooped up along the wall by Plague. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Grabs it in his own end. From the left side, takes the pass. Syracuse plays the puck along the boards. Oh, and stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Fires it on net. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps them at bay. Syracuse may have run into a hot goaltender tonight. Lots of shots on net, and yet they still find themselves down in this one. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Grabs the puck at center. And that's knocked away. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Moves it in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Davies' compete level is off the charts. I mean, he stumbles, and he's off balance, but finds a way to hold on to the puck and thread the needle as he sees the shooter in a distance and a great scoring opportunity. The Americans get a hold of the puck in their own end. Loses. Oh, he's got no. a little jump. Slides it across. Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. And a strong effort on that play. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. And now he moves it to Crozier. Lead pass ahead. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. 
It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front. He scores! We gotta give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position, and when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. The Americans have extended their lead to two here in the late goings of the second. And they need to stay focused right through this second period. Listen, they've had an outstanding first two periods, and they have to finish strong to get to the intermission and reset the tone in the third. Moves around along the half wall. Slides the puck down low. On the doorstep, backhander. He was left in there. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Rochester's on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. Syracuse has the puck. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Back to the point it goes. Redirected off a stick. Gains the zone on the left wing. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Gonsalves setting up against the wall. Shot redirected. Grabbed along the board by Kozak. Shoot it. Here's a chance. Big stop just as time expires in the period. There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next.
fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Bruins start leading in the third period in this high-flying affair, but the question is for how long, James? This has been an action-packed, back-and-forth offensive nightmare for the goaltenders. Big play inside the defensive zone. Grabs the puck. Here they are on the attack. Shot! Gets in front of it. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Rochester's got the puck in their own end. Mersh has got it in the offensive zone. And he turned that one aside. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. 4-2 is the score. Roberts, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. Moves it to Element. Takes the feed, moving in. Handles the puck. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Tukarski. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. And it's a quick pass to Dave. They've got a two-on-one. Across the line. What a save! Oh, my goodness! I thought they had it there on the rush. Take up, take Rochester's up. got the puck along the boards. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Syracuse plays it against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Crozier. Handles the pass. To the low slot. Oh, a short save. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Syracuse takes possession off the draw. And it's turned aside by Tukarski. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Syracuse gains a hold of it. Slides it quickly to Edmonds. And now he moves it quickly to Crozier. Moves the puck along the half wall. Great reach with the post check by Ciccioni. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick in the stick. Rochester's looking to break out. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Bank pass off the boards. Pass right back. Coughs it up on the play. Goes right to the crease. The Crunch have gained possession off the wall. Across the line. Takes control of the puck. Alard's got it along the boards. Syracuse has it in the offensive end. Score! And just what the doctor ordered, and then cut into the lead. Oh, uh, yeah, after that goal, you can send the momentum shift, James, and it's all about swinging and seeing if they can string a couple of good shifts together and get the equalizer. They've narrowed it within one. Syracuse hasn't rolled over in this one. That goal has suddenly made this one a one-goal game. They're hunting and they're hounding because they want it. You can feel it. It's the energy that's coming off of the bench. You know that the coach is talking about retrieval and owning and possessing the puck. They did that on that last goal. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Strong defensive effort. Looks to set up at the point now. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. There's a shot! Makes the glove stop! Syracuse gets a hold of it. Receives the pass. Syracuse brings the puck in from center. Shot! Blocked in front. Dishes it to Jost. The Americans looking against the half wall. Huge steal at his own end. Nice zone entry from the left. 
Gonzalez is on the attack. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Taken along the wall by Crow. Moves it quickly over to Clay. Here they come on the attack. Sends it over. Syracuse gains control of the puck. Quick pass to Myers. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Passes the puck over to Fortier. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Oh, what an insane stop by Tukarski. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. And he takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Tukarski. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Played big in the moment there. Tries to get the puck to Robert. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Tukarski's going to opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Battling for it along the boards. Scoops up the puck here. Quick pass to Kozak. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. The Crunch have possession along the boards. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Save. Tosses it on to Sacchoni. Shot! And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Rocks him on the play. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And here's the pass to Biro. Can't hang on to the big time save. Oh my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Here in the late going of the frame, this one has been a good back and forth contest. We're sitting with a 4-3 hockey game. around players who can't get it done in the playoffs and he finds the back of the net that's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game both centers ready to take the draw here coming up Rochester's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw Picked up along the wall by Clay. Syracuse gains control of the puck. Oh, what a stop by Tukarski! There's another stop! What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they gotta start playing. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Sends it down low. Into the corner now. Now a quick pass to Murph. Oh, what a reactionary save on the one-timer. And he takes the feed. Syracuse jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. The Americans have it from their own end. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Along the half wall with the puck. And he had the answer on that one. Save made by the goalie. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Here in the late goings of the period, 
Rochester's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Quick feed to Stevens. Passes ahead from the right side. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that shot dies in traffic. The Americans gain control of the puck against the wall. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Rochester's got it, and they're on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Clay. Handles it along the blue line. And it's a quick pass to Yost. Too much congestion in front. Myers moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Dumont. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Empty net. You got to anticipate an aggressive draw here. An aggressive draw, something they've worked on in practice to look for the quick win with the extra attacker. The Americans come up with the defensive zone draw. Moves it to Yacht. Syracuse has possession of it now. They got a penalty coming up as he was hooked on the play. Towards the gaping net. Oh, they missed the net. And another call against the home team, and these fans have. I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating to try and kind of get the temperature of the way the officials going to follow the game. It's real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. They'll get set to go to work with a five on three. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. A great team effort, and they're moving on. Cheryl, coming into this series, we heard a lot of the finish your checks, finish your checks. They certainly did that in a big part while they're moving on. Yeah, and it's all about closing quickly on your opponent, being first to the puck, hounding it. I mean, this is playoff hockey. You want to move on. You got to get to the greasy areas, and you got to put your work boots on. Well, on behalf of Cheryl Pounder, my broadcast partner, my name is James Sabalski. Thank you so much for joining us. A fun night of hockey tonight, and we look forward to bringing you more action soon. See ya.